like, subscribe, comment yes. down below, hit that notification bell, and, and also follow the socials as well because it will definitely help the channel. Expect more and higher quality content over the summer because we're out. We're free of the shackles of school for the semester. And yeah. Let's deviate to a game. It was um, the night before, and that was the 76ers and the Miami Heat. And as we all know, the Miami Heat won the series in six. And I actually made a video just analyzing some of the things, some of the mistakes that the um, Philadelphia 76ers have made. And just it just showed that they quit on Doc Rivers. Like, it was so blatant. Like, if you watch the video, I just show you, like, just James Harden not boxing out on a rebound. James Harden just turning the ball over, like, just throwing um, inadvertent passes, like, lackadaisical passes. I'm like... James Harden, 11 points. <clears throat> just Lord, I'm gonna give, to, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna drink some water. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. I, let me, because mm -mm. I, I have a lot of things to say. And um, James Harden, 11 points, two shot attempts in the second half. Didn't play no type of defense. Didn't box out, didn't rebound, didn't hustle. Even when he turned the ball over, like remember when um, it was Bam out of bile, he turned, you know, he caught the ball and went for the dunk. James Harden could have chased him down. Tried to commit a foul and prevent him from, you know, getting an easy dunk. He's just jogging back, you know, not even trying to go contest it. This is why the 76ers shouldn't give him a long-term deal. Honestly, I wouldn't even re-sign him. Mm. Seriously. So, give what, what's your thoughts on that whole situation? <laughs> yeah. You thought, you thought we forgot James? Yeah. I wish I could be seven foot running just dunk, huh? That takes no skill. What did all your skill get you? A couple couple Western Conference Finals, bounces, you know, can't even get past the second round in the East. Like, what, what, what was your end game? Man? You thought you was going to force your way from two different teams and it was going to work out for you? You will never. And I repeat, look, I'm looking in this camera, I'm looking in this camera. I'll even look in, the, even though they can't see me, I'm looking in that camera. You will never win a ring in this league because the way you play is not honorable. You're flopping around, you're dishing out, on, you're, you're quitting on teammates, you're forcing your way from organizations. We don't respect it. You know what I'm saying? So your days is numbered, you're getting washed up, you, you took one shot after the half in an elimination game, even though your other star player, well, the star player, has injured and can't really do too much. He showed more fight than you ever have this entire series. And this is just shame. You got outplayed by a second-year player in the playoffs. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let me you wasn't. You couldn't <laughs> score, but shoot, you, at least you could have facilitated. You couldn't even do that. So what is you really on the court for, James? Huh? You are you? Shoot, you sound like the YSL news got you messed up. Oh, that's what it was planned. Like, oh. you, like you got indicted in them case. You wanna? You want? You going to trial? Ooh. E. James, so you need to evaluate your life with basketball, man. Because I'm telling you, if it wasn't for them years you was hooping like that, you'd be in Guangdong. Oh, you know you know what it is? I think I know what it is. I don't think it's the YSL. It's because he saw a picture of John Morant and Lil Baby. He was like, how could you cheat on me? And that was just on his mind the entire time in the game. He was like, wow, this, this guy I was rocking with, you know, I went to Paris with, went to London with. Like, they just went to France with, like. He's just going to cheat on me with John Morant like that? Like a, a young buck like him? That's why James Harden was like that. But to be serious. <sighs> I was serious. No, I, oh. no, I was just, oh, okay. just talking that right there. <laughs> Being serious. <sighs> There's a lot. James Harden was the only one to blame for this. And before I get to Doc Rivers, because there's a lot of things I want to say about Doc Rivers, Tobias Harris, you, my sir, are just as much to blame for James Harden. Because, like I said with the video I showed you guys, your defense was atrocious. You weren't hustling at all. Miscommunication with Tyrese Maxey. Mm. You, my sir, sold as well. And I hope the 76ers trade your ass. Because you don't deserve to be on the 76ers. The, the fan base should be booing your ass as well. Because <laughs> what what were you doing in there? You were doing nothing. Oh, yeah. You were literally just packing your bags, getting ready for the offseason. Because you were just like James Harden. You were like, man, I don't want to be here no more. Like, Joel Embiid is literally fighting for his life. Fighting for his life. My man has a mask on. My man got a knee injury. Got all this other stuff that he got to deal with. And you're not going to put your all. You're not going to put your effort. You're not going to put... 
all the things that Joel B needs. He needs help. My man needs help, and you just decided, you know what? I'm not even going to play no defense. I'm going to I'm gonna look at Tyrese Maxey like I'm crazy, but you were supposed to switch on that play. That's why Tyrese Maxey was looking at you like, bro, why didn't you switch? No, you want to be all dumb and stuff. And then there was this one play I remember. It was with James Harden, and you were trying to point to James Harden that, hey, that's your man. But no, that's your man. James Harden has P.J. Tucker. What are you, why Why are you trying to put the onus on James Harden? That's you. That is your fault. And then let me get to Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler, after the game, was like, ha, huh, they, tra- they chose Tobias Harris over you? I don't know why. Because Jimmy Butler was going straight at every pick and roll that you were guarding. When you were guarding that man, it was barbecue chicken. There was a reason why Jimmy Butler was scoring on you in every single play because he was trying to prove a point. Mm. He was trying to prove a point that the 76ers made a mistake. I should be on the floor with Joel Embiid. I should be his teammate, not you. Mm. That's why after the game, he said all those things. That's why he went out and, I don't know, scored how many points in the game and went off this series because he's trying to show that you're a fraud. That mm. I am I am him and I should be playing for Philly because I have that Philly pride and you don't. Mm. And the same could be applied for James Harden, man. James Harden, he, he was triple teamed. And instead of ch- passing the ball to Tyrese Maxey at the top of the key, who was wide open, he continued to dribble and then turn the ball over. And then if Tyrese Max would be in a good teammate he is, you know, he showed hustle. He at least tried to go and get a stop. James Hart, you couldn't even do – like, why is the second-year player showing more heart than the vets? I don't know. Do you, Tyrese Maxey, salute to you. You played hard. Salute Tyrese and Joel Embiid, man. Even he, though Joel didn't have a great game, he at least showed effort. Joel Embiid – well, Joel Embiid, he, he, he also uh, – there was some plays that he could have uh, – Put in some effort. I'm but, giving him the benefit of the I doubt. I give him the benefit of the doubt because he man, did was show getting some hit effort. up in the face and all type of stuff. Man out there risking his health and CTE to, to help this sorry team win something. And then Doc Rivers, God bless. Listen, it's not. I'm not gonna give the. I'm not gonna put the onus on you because your, your players, players ain't quit. Showing up. They quit. Like that was a major. That was a quit all around. But bro, make some adjustments. Like if you see that the um the drop coverage for Joel Embiid is not working, and Jimmy Butler is just straight up just scoring on Tobias Harris left and right from the mid range, why not? I don't know. Switch it up. Maybe double team uh J- Jimmy Butler. Um, maybe um I don't know um uh I don't know. Switch to a zone. Like stop playing the same coverage all the time. Go back to the zone that worked with you um, when y'all played in, like, game three and game four. Makes no sense. Yeah. Makes no sense. Yeah, it, it's just, I don't know, man. They, they, I, I mean, we all seen this coming, but, sheesh, that last game was rough. Yeah. And, like, and salute to Miami. Y'all, J- and so salute to Jimmy Butler. We had you on a fraud watch in the beginning of the playoffs. You're, you're beating the allegations thus far. If you keep it up and you take your team all the way, we'll have to remove you from the list because you have shown you can be the number one guy and win consistently if you make this uh, a finals appearance. I mean, you probably won't, but still. <laughs> I feel like he's off the fraud watch list. Yeah, we'll take him off. Yeah, we'll he's, off, him he's off. off the fraud watch list, so I can't, I can't call him a fraud no more because he, he showed up. I think um, – we just had revisionist history of what happened last year in the yeah. playoffs. But in 2020, he did his thing. In um, 2022, this year, he did his thing. Um, when he was with Philly, um, I can't really recall. He was okay. He was he, all right. He was pretty good. Pretty he was good. all right. He was a they, pro- shoot, if, if they if they would have got past the Raptors, they probably would have went all the way. Yeah, they probably would have. So, salute to Jimmy Butler. Um, you're off the fraud watch list. But, uh, but James Hardy, you're nah, not. Yeah, you're not. You're not. And, um... Doc, yeah. Doc That's, Rivers, you're not. Yeah, you're not. So, salute to Miami Heat. I don't want them to go to finals because they're, listen, they're not the most beautiful display of basketball. I'll say that. It's not the most fun basketball to watch. So, hopefully the Bucks go back to the finals because I would love to see Giannis go back maybe against the Warriors or the Suns. Who knows? But, yeah. Um, 